She talked to us about what it took to get to this moment. Uh, lots of patience. I don't have, but uh, paperwork is, is mainly just paperwork. But it's a fast process. But it was a fast process actually. I applied in February, and today's June, so it was what six months. Yeah, it was pretty easy though. Congratulations to her and everyone else. Mulder said it was an amazing feeling to take the oath and say the Pledge of Allegiance. She says she's now looking forward to being able to vote. Also new for you tonight, a pickle business is selling shirts of a giant statue that's been a big topic of conversation. WHIO TV tonight previously reported on Phil. You remember the nearly 10 foot tall werewolf statue standing outside of a pickle home. Now Bushel Impact, APAC is selling t-shirts with Phil on them saying, come and take me. The owners posted these photos of the shirts on social media. Phil was at the center of controversy when the city asked the owner to take him down after a neighbor complained. The city rep later told WHIO TV tonight the owner was allowed to keep Phil up if she wants to. Tomorrow morning, Harrison Township is set to tear down property along North Dixie Drive. The property in Northbridge previously housed the Harem Nightclub. Now the township declared the building a dangerous and nuisance property. The nightclub last operated in 2017 and the building was damaged by a fire in 2020. Demolition is set to start at 9 a.m. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Cotro III. We were just talking and you said, they're here. And I went all the way back to Poltergeist. Yeah. And I thought about it and I was like, oh, but I, I'm not scared of rain. No, I don't think anyone is. I mean, no. we could certainly use some. Things do look better across some areas of the Miami Valley. We're not seeing as much drought across some areas. In fact, some areas aren't even abnormally dry. But the rain is coming. It was kind of a cool day today. Temperatures only got up to about 70 degrees in Dayton. Now, typically in the afternoons here in Dayton in the middle of June, late June, we get up to about 84 degrees. Not so much today. In fact, some of y'all didn't even get into the 70s. Seeing ya, was a nice, cool 68 degrees. Richmond only got up to 68 as well. So a cool day. And if you compare the temperature to this time, actually, temp current temperatures right now, we're looking at about 67 degrees. And most of us, looks like we're all in the 60s, except for Salina, oddly enough. Usually they're a little bit cooler. And then Oxford is still in the 70s. But we really haven't dropped that much. Now, if you do compare the temperature to this time yesterday, we're about five degrees cooler in general. So it was a bit of a cooler evening tonight. Tomorrow will be a bit on the cool side as well, as far as high temperatures are concerned. We'll likely only get into the mid-70s. One reason for that is going to be the cloud cover. It's going to block out a lot of the sunshine. And then we're going to see some rainfall. Maybe not all day, but certainly in the morning. Starting to see a little bit right now. You can see some showers coming in from the east. Now, you do see a little bit of green here within our viewing area. And it's not really raining too hard. I looked outside in Dayton here, just outside the weather center, and saw not necessarily raindrops, but there's definitely some, I mean, I guess you can call them raindrops, little raindrops on the car, but I couldn't see anything falling, so maybe it's a heavy mist. Regardless, we are looking at some rain finally coming in the area. Now, for the last few days, we've been seeing some showers in West Virginia make their way to Ohio and then eventually fade out, but some of these are now making their way to the Miami Valley, and so... We'll see some good rainfall here soon enough, lasting throughout the night and the morning hours, too. Now, any rain is helpful, but the latest drop monitor, which was released today, shows that many areas in our viewing area aren't even abnormally dry. It extends all the way just outside of Muncie, Indiana, up to Lima, Sydney, Troy, near Marysville, Columbus, Lancaster, Zanesville. Not even abnormally dry. Where you see the yellow, that's abnormally dry. Now, that's not even drought. That's a precursor to drought. Where we actually have droughts still are in our southern counties. And I've been mentioning that the last week or so, how our southern counties especially could use some rain. And like I mentioned, we're going to see a little bit here as we move into the overnight hours. It's a good thing. We're looking at some mostly cloudy skies as well, but Futurecast shows those showers coming in overnight. Perhaps some pockets in there, a little bit heavy at times, but nothing too crazy. Here's a look at 10 a.m. That rain still remains for the most part, but it really breaks up into the afternoon tomorrow. So we're going we're to be widespread as far as the rain is concerned in the morning. But by the afternoon, much more isolated in nature. The seven-day forecast shows rain many days in the coming week. Sunday especially, we're going to have to keep an eye on because we do expect a chance for perhaps a few strong storms, most likely in Indiana. But as they come our way, we'll have to watch. So that'll be Sunday evening into early Monday morning. We'll keep an eye on that. 
As we move into next week, though, drier and still kind of cool. Robert, thank you. The FTC is taking Amazon to court over its Prime service. What they accused Amazon of doing and what this could mean for the millions of Prime subscribers.